Can a 1 billion power player like Maverick be zeroed? In this video, we're going to talk about exactly what it would take to bring a player from 1.1 billion power down to 50 mil. So stick around in this video to see what it would take in order to knock out a Kraken. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms, and you would not believe my astonishment. When we learned that we are in the same kingdom versus kingdom as Maverick, the 1.1 billion power player, people are starting to wonder, will you zero Maverick? Well, let's talk about exactly what that would take. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. Maverick, 1.1 billion power. That is a lot of power, my friends. And to take down a player of that caliber, well, let's see exactly what that might cost. Now, I do want to start this video by saying that, hey, look, nothing personal against Maverick. He may even be in our own war camp. We may end up being allies. We really don't know. So again, this is fully 100% not personal. It is purely hypothetical using an account of his power as the example for our conversation today. The first step in order to figure out how you take down a whale like this, besides the fact that you're going to launch like 12 rallies at the same time, and we'll talk about what those combos perhaps should be, is to get a benchmark for how many troops we would actually lose. So let's start by looking at a real rally report. This was like a 3 or 5x rally on a 200 million power player and see what the losses were. Okay, my friends, here you're looking at a proper garrison defense for a 200 million power player, and these losses for the attackers are astonishing. This is a Theodora YSS Expertise. We also have a picture of the equipment that they had, so we'll show that to you. And no doubt the equipment of the attackers is very good too. So what you're seeing here is 207,000 deads for the defender and 2.6 million deads for the attacking rally. There's some swarming that takes place here. Oh my God, 209,000 dead from the swarm. Don't swarm. About 500,000 dead for the garrison and 1.5 million dead for the attacking rally. Oh man, 18,000 dead for the garrison and 1 million dead for the rally. 109,000 dead from a swarm. 214,000 dead from a swarm. 63,000, I mean, this is insane. 73,000, 203,000. Don't swarm a city like this, people. 680,000 dead for the defender and nearly 2 million dead for the attacker. Keep in mind, this is a proper garrison defense. These are good commanders. I don't have the talent build that they were using. I'm just going to assume there's another swarm that they had a proper garrison build. Here's another rally, 208,000 dead to 915,000 dead for the attackers. This is a 200 million power city. We're talking about zeroing. This is not even the zeroing. This is just a set of rallies. We're talking about trying to zero a 1.1 billion power player. Yeah, I mean, these losses and these trades are really bad for the attackers. Let me show you the equipment real quick. Hopefully this gives a little more context into the quality of the garrison defense here. So we have pretty freaking solid gear. I think the one thing that's a little bit questionable is perhaps the infantry shield over here. But otherwise, they've got some really solid gear for their garrison. They've got some really good commanders as well. And we were looking at anywhere between, I don't know, let's say on average, like a three for one trade in favor of the defense. I don't know how bad these trades would be in the favor of the defense if you're going up against a 1.1 billion power player, but it basically, to me, feels like an absolutely impossible task. The losses will be so high, it couldn't possibly be worth it. So let's look at a different scenario. What about the scenario where perhaps we catch a player like Maverick with the wrong commanders on the wall? Maybe we assume they have no equipment and he has no talents. Does that sound a little bit familiar? Maybe like our friend Solomar, who was zeroed? What if we envisioned a world where there's a Solomar scenario? He's out of his alliance. He's off territory. He's got the wrong commanders. Maybe he doesn't even have equipment. What would that look like 
if Maverick in that circumstance were to be attempted to be zeroed? Well, to answer that question, we dug up the old information about the rallies against Solomar. He was 400 million power and he was zero. By the way, card up in the top if you haven't seen that particular video. Over the duration of that fight, he took down about 30 million troops from the opposing side. I'm estimating roughly because I missed the very start of it. So if it took a blend of about 30 million T4 and T5 troops to take down the 400 million power Solomar, what would it take to knock down a 1.1 billion power Maverick if he had all those magical circumstances lining up? And I mean, just by the ratio of power, right? Like Maverick has three times the power. Would it be three times the dead troops? That would be 90 million dead troops. But I think the reality is that we all know that while he has more troops, he's going to inflict more damage. And he has substantially more troops than even Solomar had. So let's just double that number again. And maybe this might reflect the amount of troops it would take. So let's call it 180 million. 180 million troops to take down a player like Maverick hypothetically. Now, a player like Maverick, in case you were wondering, is sitting on about 110 million T5 troops, if that's everything he has in his city. We don't know if that's entirely the case, but about 54 million of his power is presumably his commanders, his techs, his buildings, all that good stuff. You subtract all that out of there and it's just troops, if we assume they're all T5, then yeah, it's about 110 million T5 troops. So if it did take 180 million troops to take him down, you are losing on those trades, and you're losing on those trades not quite by two for one. If you assume you're going to, on average, lose your trades against Maverick in a two for one way, now we're talking about 220 million dead troops to take down Maverick. Now that sounds insane, right? Like that's a lot of power. If we assume those are all T5 troops, we're talking about 2.2 billion power worth of dead troops from your kingdom. And to put that into context, I have some information about the last KVK we did. In our last version of KVK, KVK Season 5, all of our kingdom lost a grand total of 271 million troops. That is a blend of T4 and T5. <laughs> so what we're saying is that the amount of troops it would take to take down a player like Maverick is somewhere between a half to two-thirds the amount that it would take to win a KVK. If that doesn't make you pause for a moment, the number of troops to take down Maverick is potentially between half to two-thirds of what it took a very large 1,000-player kingdom to win a KVK. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is not worth it. That is not worth it. So even if Maverick were to have almost nothing on his wall, he puts like a city keeper, okay, and no secondary commander, it still wouldn't be worth it to try to zero him because the number of troops that is probably going to take is still probably going to be astronomically high to the tune of half of what it would take to win a KVK to take out just this one player. And that's assuming you are multi-rallying the heck out of him. Now, on the topic of multi-rallying, if you are taking down a super high power player, what do I think, what does Chiskul think would be a good combination to try to make that multi-rally work? And I have not put as much thought into this as I would like to, but offhand, I'm going to make the argument that you need at least one tanking rally, and that is going to be your Attila and Takeda combination. Attila and Takeda do a lot of damage, take out a lot of troops, and they're pretty decent at taking damage themselves. I think that would be a decent way to go. You could also try to use something that's a good bit more tanky. You could try, for example, a commander like Richard I. Pair him with someone that also reduces damage taken substantially, like even maybe a Charles Martel to shield yourself. Right, This rally, you want to just take the least amount of damage possible while the other rallies do work. What would those other rallies be? I would have probably two Edward and Tamaris's in order to stack up Tamaris's poison debuff as high as possible to make more skill damage get applied to the target. I would potentially bring some Guan Yu's in order to silence the target, assuming they've got a commander that has a meaningful active skill. And guess what? I'm just saying, like, even if the commander on the wall 
was Dragon Lancer, okay? Even if it was Dragon Lancer, and the total damage factor is 75 plus the additional damage factor of 75 for two turns, even if that was the case, when you have 110 million T5 troops, that is still a ridiculous amount of damage, okay? So silencing them seems like a worthwhile thing. You would probably want to have commanders that are reducing the rage of the target. Everybody should be using the good old-fashioned silent trial to try to reduce the rage generation of that garrison. You'd want to have a commander like Alexander the Great somewhere in the mix, perhaps a couple of them, because you do want to make sure that you make the target take additional damage. That's really huge. You'd probably want to have a commander even like Chandra Gupta, who's going to reduce the health of the garrison. That seems really very good in this situation. And besides the utility commanders, you want some raw damage. You want commanders like Mehmed, potentially Saladin, and honestly, a commander like Charlemagne seems really very good for this operation. If you're going to take down a player of that power, 10% less dead troops. When we're talking about 200 million troops that are going to die, if every one of those rallies is losing 10% less troops, that's 20 million troops the kingdom saves. Just going to throw that out there as being a kind of an interesting idea. Also, when we look at talents, you could reduce that an additional 10% with this right over here, Tier of Blessing, when you're attacking a city. So, hey, reducing the number of dead troops by 20% when we're talking about 200 million dead troops, that's 40 million dead troops we're potentially mitigating. Seems really good. I know I didn't do that math quite right, but you get the idea. It really could be that for zeroing lower power players, you want to go with those high damage commanders. But for these higher power players, when you're doing those multi-rallies, maybe we should all be looking more to a commander like Charlemagne. I mean, his damage factor is not amazing. His shield is fine. The stats, I guess they're just okay. I don't know. Charlemagne really, I'm not, I'm not convinced that this is the way. But if there's a combination of commanders you think would be more appropriate, let me know down below in the comments what that ought to be and what you would bring for these 12 rallies you try to synchronize all at the same time to try to take down a player of this amount of power. If you're interested in seeing what our clashes or even coordination if they're allies with a player like Maverick might be in this KVK, consider subscribing. We will be live streaming our entrance into the Heroic Anthem Kingdom versus Kingdom. That is going to be taking place on Friday at reset, or I guess, you know, technically first thing in the morning on Saturday. So to see whether or not Maverick is even in our war camp and ends up being an ally, or if he's somewhere in an opposing camp and we're battling against him, hey, consider that subscription so you can see when it happens or just attend the live stream. And if you're looking for more high power players getting zeroed, I'll have a card up in the top for a few situations that were pretty remarkable. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.